Hello. Testing, testing. Are yeah, you recording? Are you... On my back. <laughs> what? Oh. what an <laughs> I, I, the sad thing is, I don't think you even recorded it. Oh, honestly, fuck it. Occasionally you get a fucking. Do you ever occasionally get a spot that bloody hurts? Oh. Honestly. Right, I've just had a. God, I had a spot once about five years ago inside my bum that I had to go and see the doctor about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I've had one on my willy. Oh, I don't want to talk about this. No. no I was Welcome to Jack's. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. Oh. Uh, so today we've got Paul Chowdhury on, comedian Paul Chowdhury. You know Paul, don't you? I've never met Paul. I don't know him a little bit. I've done a few gigs with him. He, where I've did you gig his... with Paul? Right, I just remembered where I gigged with him. I've gigged with him a few times, but the first time I gigged with him, which I thought we could talk about, I can't believe I didn't remember this. There was a thing... <laughs> right, I I quit my job to do comedy about, I don't know, 14 years ago? 14? Is that right? No, 10 years ago? When did you quit your job? That's what I'm trying to work out. <laughs> <laughs> well, when? Just ask. What? Well, That's what I'm trying to work out. So, when did I start? 2004. When so you did live at the electric, were you working? No. Uh, I was probably 2004, so maybe 2002. So, 10, 10 to 12 years ago. All right. For some reason, I thought yeah. you would have given up. I gave up 10 years ago. It's weird. How the fuck have I got here? What's that weird? And well, I don't know how I'd, I said to Naomi the other night, how the fuck? What do I do for a living, Naomi? <laughs> I found an old diary of my gigs, and I used to write how much I got paid at the top. But all about the money. <laughs> yeah. No, because... <laughs> I needed. To, I was really hand to mouth, so it'd be like that week I've earned 110 quid. So it's obviously on the shelf. Were you pointing Somewhere. at it? Oh, I'd love to hear that. That would be fascinating to hear what you got paid. Oh, I'll find it. I'll find it, and it would say like it, most of them because they're mostly in London, like 10 pounds, 20 pounds. Then occasionally it'd say like 80 pounds and stuff. So that's when I first gave up, and the week. I remember, the, I remember the week I gave up, I was supporting Russell Howard. So the following day, I gave up work. The following Monday, I was in a really plush hotel supporting Russell Howard for 250 quid a week. So that was amazing. And then nothing. Then I got nothing. And I went back to no money. And then I got offered this thing <laughs> called... I can't remember what it's called. It was like... It's like last comic stand. I think Matt Kirshen won it. Oh, yeah, in America. Paul Foote did it. Yeah. 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 So I went out there, and so did Paul Chowdhury. You went out to America? <laughs> yeah. The what? second week. Right, the second week, I quit my job. Because I ne- this is where I heard what a per diem was. Did you know what a per diem was until you did this job? Well, not until I worked with you, no. <laughs> well, per diem yeah, hang on is a where... You did last yeah. comic standing. No, I sort of did. Like, this is what I'm trying to tell you. So they said, do you want to go out to America? And it was 50 quid a day per diems. So that was f- 250 quid I got paid. And you didn't have to spend any of the money because you're in a hotel. So we went out there <coughs> and you had to do like an all- like three minutes of stand-up and then you either got through or you didn't. I don't and hate I with... how you're brushing over this. It's really annoying me. <laughs> As well, if no, I should like... be, oh, right, yeah, you went to America to try and be a star. Okay, it was sure. Miami. It went to Miami. Hang and on, I why are you cr- brushing over this? <laughs> I'm this not. Should, I'm this still telling you. This episode should be called Last Comic Standing Part 1. <laughs> okay. But Save Paul this, Ch- buddy. <laughs> Paul Chowdhury did it, right? And you went out and you did three minutes... Was Matt Kirshen there? I don't know. There was hundreds of people. And and basically, you went out there. 
he did one minute. I did like I didn't get like a minute of stand up out. They just said no, thank you. And then I had five days in. I hate America. this. Yeah, I really hate this. Because you're rushing it because Paul's <laughs> on it and Paul was on also on last comment. So we've got. A, you're rushing it, and this. I don't is, think hates a hates a strong word. But, hates a strong. But hang on a minute. <laughs> Like, that's a big old decision to want to do last comic. I remember when that appeared, last comic standing. Well, I, I didn't think I'd get win it. I'm not saying you did think that. I'm just saying the fact that you went to Miami. The, but the second week I quit my job, I was... Maybe, maybe, maybe like three days after I quit my job, I was in, a, in a what, Miami. What did you win if you won last comic standing? Well, I didn't... Like, I remember, like, people like... Stephen K. Amos and stuff were saying they were sort of saying things like, uh, "I'm doing it to get a green card or something, or a work v- visa or something like that." Why did you it do just, it? Uh, basically, because I got paid two hundred and fifty pounds. I got to go to America three days after I'd quit my job. I thought it was the most amazing thing. I couldn't oh, believe. God, I, I really got, need to. <sighs> What do you need? <laughs> <laughs> I just need to stop. You look so grumpy about this. No, no, this. no. It's, I'm not grumpy. I'm frustrated that we've got to stop for Paul. That's not Just Paul's don't allow fault. him in. Don't allow him <laughs> in for like <laughs> That's 40 not Paul's minutes. Fault. It's almost like <laughs> Paul should be on part two of this episode. It's like for Paul's angle on things. Well, I've only just remembered this like four minutes ago, by the way. Because I... Okay, so you went to Miami with a little bag of stand-up goodies. A little bag of stand-up. <laughs> what, your, your joke diary and... Yeah, had that, all that, had all that. Who, right, who else was going that you knew was going? Uh, can you explain to people who what last fucking comic standing was? It was that what it was called? Well, it didn't have the fucking in it. <laughs> but it was called something like that, and you basically... Joe's still picking the spot on his back, by the way. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm feeling the size of it. It's shocking. Um, it was like it was like X Factor for comedians. Yeah, yeah. So they so they they shipped out a load. It was an American thing, and they shipped out a load of UK comics. Who? Oh. Ever Howard like Reed? Maybe I think Stephen K. Amos, Adam Bloom, Mark Olver, Wendy Wasson, Jared Christmas, Jarlith Regan. Um, who, 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 who approached you? Like, I think it was like every everyone was asked, basically. Like, well, I think because I was like, maybe I was with Avalon. No, so they right. just said, oh, yeah. basically it was ship out 50 comedians, basically. They needed fodder, it turned out. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'll tell you who was there, Dr. Coca-Cola McDonald. There you go. And he got through, I think. Was he with Avalon? No, I don't know. All right. Um, and um, so, you, so you had to perform in front of like a Simon Cow. Yeah, but there, there wasn't really because it was just like for for like because they had like two hundred people. They didn't really have anyone in the room. So it was you, it was just, it was some British comedians, American comedians. No, it wasn't American. It was like from around the world, really, because they just had like a day where they were gonna. Like Papa CJ. I mean, Papa uh, CJ. We're talking late two thousand and noughts. I think he got through. I think. Uh, what did you do? Uh, what did I do? I can't remember what I did, but it didn't last a minute. Well, I remember what I did on Comedy Shuffle. You must remember one joke you did. <laughs> oh God. Not really. Like, I remember it just... I remember going, they're not going to know the reference. And I just had so little stuff. Um, but anyway, I I didn't get through. And Paul Chowdhury was there. And uh, it was... Um, I feel like you're getting the, giving the listener much. Yeah. What do you... <laughs> you went well, on... I'm, 
Britain's got talent. Basically. Yeah, I know, and you're also stressing me out because you've got the hump because we can't talk about this for well, long. Well, that's not me going, oh, I was on Play Your Cards Right uh, a couple of years ago. <laughs> you were what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway. Uh, I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to get, to get the info quid. out. I know you are. I know <laughs> what you're doing. Um, <laughs> so, Paul was there, basically. That's why I remember. And did you, did all the comics hang out together? Yeah, well, what happened was, is if you got kicked out on the first day, which was like half of us, we just had four days in Miami around a pool, basically. But if you, if you got through, you had to do another day and another day. So every, every day, half the people get kicked out and then they were done. And then, so some people did five days of like... Okay, let's get to the nitty gritty. You had five minutes of material, or three minutes? I probably had five at the time, yeah. You had to walk out on a stage in front of like, some judges? It was like, i tell you what it was, it was like, it was like a, a little comedy club that was empty. Right. And she went in, there was like a stage, and then there was like, the chairs were sort of still laid out, I remember, and then there'd be like some runners, and... And then sort of a producer. It wasn't the X Factor judges sort of thing. So like what did they say when they'd had enough of your act? Uh, they were they were really like not horrible, but just went thank you. No, you're not through. And that that was it. <laughs> Who were they? Who were these people? <laughs> I don't know the the production whoever <laughs> ran it. Make me sick. And pardon? They make me sick. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> We should and do that on Chatterbix. Well, we sort of did with <laughs> talent. <laughs> did we do that with talent agency? Yeah, we did. We've done it. <laughs> Absolutely did that. Oh, um, I, just, then, I just like, remember all this at the time. Administration just... Paul Chowdhury. Administration. What? It says administration Paul Chowdhury. Hello. <laughs> <Can it? laughs> Hi, Paul. <laughs> well, you nice camera's entrance. up very... Hi, your camera's up very high. Uh, cam- well, this is the desktop camera. Yeah, so, um, that's all right. I'm happy from this angle. <laughs> no, I love it. Is it too high? Is it? No, it's no, fine. no, no, no. <laughs> How no I'm, I'm on a, uh, how, how's it going, David? Yeah, good. I'm I've a, never met you. I'm a huge fan of yours, David. I'm very starstruck right now. What? Yeah, it's very difficult to talk to you. I'll keep talking, baby. <laughs> <laughs> And the big, I, 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 you know, I love all your characters. I remember, well, one of them you dropped now, the one, that womanising um, guy in his Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought yeah. It, I thought you were taking the piss out of me when I saw that first. <laughs> not you, no. <laughs> not you. <laughs> it was more Joe Wilkins from that character, I think. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Paul? I don't know what... Do you know what? I, I don't know why we've never crossed paths before. It's probably because you're a much bigger comic than me. No, I'm not. We were just talking about Last Comic Standing that Joe did, and you did it. Last Comic... Oh, yeah. yeah. In Miami. Yeah. Did you get through? No, I didn't get through. So we flew out together, didn't we? Yeah, like... But did you do, like... Did you get kicked out in the first day? Yeah. Yeah, because... Oh, so did I. And then we... And then we had to do... There was nothing to do for, like, five days. Because I just thought all the big comedians were going out to do that. So I was like, why are they doing it? Why aren't I doing it? <laughs> it was humiliation. But it, was, it just felt like they picked up everyone, like, just random 50 people. Yeah. Was it about 50 of us or 100 or something? It was about 500 of us that went, except Joe. What? Uh, except David Earl. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they, they had a cut-off point. <laughs> It, honestly, it, it always felt like that with me. It's like, all oh, right, they're doing that now, are they? All those comedians. Well, I felt like that with Comedy Shuffle. <laughs> right. When you did Comedy Shuffle, I was like, Jesus. What, yeah, David did Comedy did. Shuffle? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you do yeah. Comedy How Shuffle? How did we not get Comedy Shuffle, Joe? <laughs> I'm still... St- I'm not even joking. I'm still slightly pissed off. Yeah, I know you are. I can't believe I never got Comedy <laughs> Shuffle. Um, that was in the Top of the Pop studio. Is it at the Top of the Pop studio? It was at the top top of the box studio, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But isn't that just doesn't that just mean it's at the BBC? Yeah. Well, no, that, that that's a different <laughs> top of because the, the top of the box studio is Bourne Mall where they do EastEnders and Holby City, and I used to be an extra when I started stand up for Holby what? City and the oh bugger and I've never and, watched it. and <laughs> David Earl didn't get that. 
part uh, of the <laughs> spread of the city. And then... Have you done? Have you ever done EastEnders? No, my cousin actually just—he's a regular in it from this week. Oh, he's just started. Yeah, he just started in the in the Indian family. Oh, honestly, my, I really want to walk around that set. I've got such a. What's his character? What's his character? What's he? What's his? Um, Hang on, let's talk about walking around the set, Joe. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I want to know about the new character in EastEnders. Yeah. I don't want to imagine you walking around the set. <laughs> What was what's he, what's, what's, oh, Sorry, let's go and get a question out. <laughs> Should we just ignore Pop? Yeah, no, just, I, I, I just, don't know what Holby <laughs> City was like. Holby City was uh, like a hospital. <laughs> it, wasn't really, it wasn't really a city. No. <laughs> it was just a ward. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, what's right. it called, Holby City? I don't know. I think <laughs> some people, when they, you know, when you're so. Uh, is this a children's show or an adult show? Because I don't know if I can use bad language or anything. So. Oh, bad language, if you like. What, this podcast? Yeah. This is this a children's show? <laughs> <Fucking hell. laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a children's show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. This is for children. This is a children's show. Because I know Joe does a lot of children's shows now. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know that. What? He's joking, you uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> What's it? Were you just in Holby City for a day, Paul? No, I was in there for like months. What? Was, and then I used to Are go. You had a returning character. Or you just? I was like this kind of doctor, you know. <laughs> just like the doctor. Like a doctor. Just like a doctor, but, but, acting, but pretending to be, to be a doctor. <laughs> so I was like a doctor. Do you have any lines, or did the you guys walk got about? One line, a one one rubbish line, and then just holding a clipboard, saying, "Hey, man." <laughs> In the back, and then I'd go and have lunch in in the canteen where all the stem so all the Stemners people. That was when it was the Mitchell brothers were in it, and so in the golden era. Of, and and um, you know you'd see the other woman smoking. What's her name again? Oh, Pap. Um, oh, uh, Doc. Well, Doc Cotton. Doc Cotton. <laughs> yeah, that could be all of them. <laughs> and she was but about. They all shared the same canteen. Yeah, she and she was night. That was back in ninety eight and. Doc Cotton was about 95 then. <laughs> Is it true, like, EastEnders and all that, it's like it's... And Holby City, it's just like a... Like a job, you know, you, everyone drives themselves into work, you sort of clock in, it's like... It's really like... What do you expect? A, <laughs> no, but like, you know, if you do, like, the Apollo, they drive you there and... No, again, I haven't been asked. <laughs> no, nor have I. Uh, you um, haven't done it, Joe? You've been asked. You've been asked, Joe. You've been asked probably to host it, I reckon. Definitely. I love the way you two are like... Oh, you would have been asked. Have you been asked? No, I don't think so. What, the Apollo? No. You've, you must have been asked. Go through your emails. <laughs> <laughs> live at the Apollo. It's the show on the... Live at the Apollo. It's a stand-up show. You've done it, haven't you, Paul? I've only done it twice. What's it like? How much do you get paid, Paul? Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I know as paid. well, actually. Someone told me. <laughs> it's terrible money, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like waiting before the doors open? Yeah. Well, the weird thing about that show is I did it the first time in 2012. and um, That's when it was big. It, well, yeah. it, it was kind of on, yeah. It was right. big, Yeah, it was big when Jack D hosted it. That was when it was as I big remember as, I used to obsess for it. Yeah, that was when it was massive. And then all these established comics. And then when I did it, it was 2012. And like I was like the first like, British Indian comedian on it. And you know, there's a lot of stuff. It, that was the kind of like the start of diversity and on, on these channels because before that i was pretty much like excluded from you know booking <laughs> to me mate and I, and I <laughs> david, pain. david knows david knows being indian i know i know you buddy <laughs> in fact going back to last comic standing when we were out there they wanted me to and i was from london and when we got to america and when this show they said can you represent india I, but people did from the UK. Yeah, well, it was uh, Papa CJ represented India. But someone, I'm sure. Well, they asked me to represent India, and I said, "But I'm, I was, oh, maybe I was, was born you. in." Yeah, I was. I, was, I think yeah. we had this discussion there. Then I said, "But I'm, yeah. I'm a Londoner, mate. I, I don't sound like I'm from India. I can't. Re how am I going to represent India when I sound like this?" Uh, and then, then they got Papa CJ too, and then they didn't. Book but they did other things. Anyway, as well, mate, do your act. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, do do one minute of your act, and then we'll so, tell you to you fuck know, off. I walked up. Hello, everybody. I'm from uh, India. Yeah. <laughs>
yeah. from northwest London. <laughs> yeah. and, and I never got through, and neither did um, uh, what's his name again. He, then he went out to America and became a big superstar. Matt Kirshen. Yeah, Matt Kirshen. No, he never. No, he, he was the year before. Oh, but he won. He won it, didn't he? Um. Oh, did he do it the year before? Yeah, he did it. But didn't he win it? No, he did it. He did it because I told Jim Tavare about this show. And he came out with us, I think, on this one. Oh, I remember Jim Terry. He, he had the real hump about carrying that double bass. Yeah. And I couldn't stop laughing about <laughs> it. Because he was, um, he turned up about 20 minutes after us because he'd had to wait for excess l luggage. Oh, and yeah. Was, yeah, and it was his and double bass. I thought bass. he was joking because I was like, obviously, he's had it for 25 years. He must be used to this. But he was genuinely fucked off about having to wait for his luggage. Does he still do it? Uh, yeah, he's in he America. An he, he had a, I did a benefit for him with, with Stuart Lee of course. and um, Harry Hill and everyone. We did a benefit because he had some accident. But he's, he always looks like, like since I've known him, he looks like he just come out of an accident. <laughs> he looks like a crash test dummy, doesn't he? Yeah, he's quite ghostly, isn't he? Yeah. It? And then Trevor Noah never got through either. Uh, and I was with Trevor Noah in the reception. God, they know their stuff. Yeah. Paul Foote did well. Paul Foote did well, I think. Paul Foote did really well out of it. Yeah. Did yeah. he? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, but I remember, like, they wanted people to sort of, like, like I can't remember who they said it to, but can you be, like, the evil one? To you? Like the, no, no, I can't remember who it was, but they were like, I want you to be, <laughs> you to be, like, evil. <laughs> and, I, and, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I can't remember they say it. And they, I was like, <laughs> did they say evil? Well, yeah, I think they were. They were like, you can be like, you know, nasty Nick, or they didn't say yeah, that, yeah, they yeah. American. And uh, and someone else, I remember Papa CJ had to pretend to see Running Water for the first time. Oh, really? He probably had to see uh, Running Water, though, to be fair. But he, he was like, he was literally doing, I remember what are you talking him about? saying. <laughs> so they he's trying to get, say he's from India. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Is that what they were? They, they basically filmed him and he did it. He went into a room and turned on the tap and was like, look, running water. Yeah, for, for jokes. No, no, he, like, played... Like, they they were... Because everyone was like, oh, they obviously know what they're talking about. <laughs> it turns out they absolutely don't. It must be a good actor, though, to pretend that it's the first time. I can't see water for the first time. <laughs> How would you act that? Well, to be fair, if you haven't seen it before coming out of a tap, it would be shocking. Yeah, but how would you yeah. act it if you had? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, would they do this in Holby City? Yeah. <laughs> if we gave you a clipboard, could you do it? Because <laughs> in audition, they'd be, uh, okay, I I'm really not getting this. That is the, I, I really need, first time you've seen running water, I need, <laughs> <laughs> I need surprise. But, but when you're in the, when you're with Have the last step. This is yeah, a on, No, no, I can't. No, it's Well, disgusting. can we bleep it out and you just tell yeah, us? Yeah, I was supposed to do his podcast, but he cancelled me the other day. Did he? Oh, so uh, he's, he's a busy bee. He's a busy bastard busy. now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Remember he used to do gigs with us, Joe? He still doesn't. He used to club on the uh, Friday. Uh, yeah. That's another club that wouldn't book me. Are you joking? Yeah, I did it once and he wasn't interested in me. I, yeah. I suddenly stopped getting booked. Yeah. Fucking loaded I, that bloke. <laughs> I've got a story about that. Oh, I've got a story. <laughs> I told you my five pound. Yeah, we story. should do stories. Right now, then. I've got a story. <laughs> All right, can I tell mine? <laughs> Have I told you my five pound note story? Yeah, here we go. I uh, can we actually? Can we do this? I've just got an idea out. I'll just peep out what club it is. All right. Yeah. Um, I went and did Bleep Club, and it was uh, it was the one that used to be at the. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and oh, I, was meant yeah. to be doing, I was meant to be doing 10 minutes in the middle and he, he kind of said oh the other act hasn't turned up which I knew was him just saying can you just do 20 basically so I did 20 minutes and it, the 10 minutes was unpaid but he said oh because you did 20 minutes I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some money and he took out a roll of cash like that and then I had to watch him for about seven minutes fish around the uh, notes with his finger till he found a fiver. <laughs> he was literally, <laughs> literally going like pushing twenty quids out of the way like this, and then eventually found one and went, "There you go, mate." <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> what did you say to him? I went, I think I said that won't pay for my travel home. Did you say that? I think I did. I oh, laughed. Wow, you, he laughed. That's a bit of front. Well, because it took seven minutes. What did so he say? Just stared at you. What did he say? He just stared at me, yeah. He just stared at you? Unbelievable. Like, you offended, <laughs> you offended him? Yeah, I think that's why I never got put. I know why I didn't get booked again. I, I know exactly why. <laughs> so, do you want to know the why I didn't get booked again? <laughs> 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 he used to do like a Wednesday night. It was sort of yeah. new material he knows. Oh, yeah. And uh, the night wasn't going that well. And he said to me, he said to me, um, are, you, uh, are you doing new material tonight? I said, yes, I am. He said, would you mind opening with some old stuff? Which you do anyway, you know, to sort of... And uh, I joke, and he said, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm definitely not going to do that. And he went, oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, what, uh, <laughs> it's what Woody Allen does. And I went, who the fuck is Woody Allen? Yeah. Uh, as a joke. <laughs> And uh, he just stared at me, and then I went on. And uh, it came off, and he never booked me again, because he genuinely thought I didn't, didn't have a clue. Because he didn't know what he had. You don't know your comedy references. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know your, your, your comedy... No, he didn't trust me. Al- alleged like, pedos. No yeah. Paul, are you on tour, Paul? Are you going on tour? You're on yeah, tour? yeah, I'm on tour um, back next, in, next week. I, I don't know when this goes out, so... Um, Whenever you want it to. Yes, yeah, so I'm on tour at the moment. Yeah, it's going really well. I'm on a yeah, I'm on tour. I'm on tour tomorrow. How long do you do? I'm always obsessed uh, with how long people do. On well, I, I did it. I was doing like two hours on the last leg. Jesus, what? Two hours, yeah. Because I, I kind of. Where'd you get? How'd you get two hours of material? <laughs> I mean, Ken Dodd did it. He just did seven hours. <laughs> Who the fuck's Ken Dodd, mate? <laughs> let me let me get my. Who the let, fuck are you talking gonna get about? A, gonna get a fiver out now. <laughs> um, wow, two hours. Yeah, so I do like, but now, but that's including an interval. So now I do like 25, half an hour in the first half, have a break, and then do about an hour and 10. So it turns out to be a two hour show. But um, it, it can be a, a lot. Because I don't have a support because of the cost of living crisis. I've dropped the support act. Every, I hit, because you, it's, it saves a bit of the old squiddlies. Yeah, it's hard taking out that water cash and giving them a fiver after. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you like do you like doing it, Paul? Because I'm, oh, it's probably boring for people to listen to. Forget it. What's that? Stand up. I just uh, I've got such an issue with stand up. So I can't get my head around. You're one it. of the you're one of the finest uh, comedy creations of the UK. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh, do you know I'm genuinely going to put a loop on that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. You're one of the finest uh, comedy creations of the UK. Keep talking, Paul. Keep talking. You're one of the finest uh, comedy creations of the UK. Keep talking. One of the You're one of the finest uh, comedy creations. One of the finest. Of the UK. I'm the UK girl. One of the finest. Yeah, you're one of the finest uh, comedy creations yeah. of the UK. I keep talking, baby girl. One of the finest finest. Yeah. So you're one of the finest uh, comedy creations of the UK. Yeah. Because we're all about the same age, aren't we, us three? 32. You're 32 now? <laughs> yeah. You're 32? Yeah. What the fuck happened to you, man? <laughs> <laughs> Been outdoors a lot. Look, I've known you for 20 years. <laughs> yeah. I'm Jack Carroll. I started off as Jack Carroll. The, uh... <laughs> no, you're Jack Carroll. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Carroll. You're Jack Carroll. Jack... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh mad. That's weird, isn't it? Because you looked like this 20 years ago <laughs> when I met you when you were if you're 12. Yeah. I thought you were Jack Carroll. How old are you, Paul? 48. Fucking hell, you don't look it. You look... Do you know what? When we were talking about you before you came on, 
One of the things Joe wanted to ask you is basically how do you get a nice body? Because <laughs> you're in good nick, right? <laughs> yeah. That's fucking hell. Fucking that's decent. Hell. But that uh, you've gone. Your arms look normal until you do that. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you take your top off? As often as possible. <laughs> God, I would. That's what you do. If you, do, oh, if you take your top off, do you notice people looking in a good way? Yeah, night? if you're doing Sainsbury's, you do. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, if it's a hot day and you take your top off in the park, do you go, yeah, I've had a couple of glances? Uh, no, I don't really go to the park and take my top off too much in the bushes anymore. So, <laughs> how, how much work have you got to do to get a... Body I, like yours. Oh, <laughs> genuine question. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, t- it takes a while, and um, a lot of uh, uh, you know, you got, your diet is very important. So, it, if it helps, it. Please walk me through step by step, like today. What have you done today, and what are you going to eat today, and when's the last time you're going to eat today? Uh, I just ate now. I just had smokes. And some... Hang on, hang on. Let's go back to you. Wake up at seven. Oh, seven. Who wakes up at well, seven? Well, I what time do you wake up? You really? Yeah, because you've got a career. No. <laughs> no. Right. Well, what do you eat each day? Um, just uh, <laughs> so in the morning, I'll have oh, I'll, I'll do a liter of water. It's the first thing of just water. You what? You down a liter of yeah, water? Yeah, that's the first thing. Do you then piss for the next hour? Yeah, like now I'm desperate. To, you know, like literally just before a podcast i'll drink <laughs> so you're on edge for the whole yeah, so now, okay, see now, now david is drinking water now because now you're I drinking water well. because I've, I've now you're now thinking this is, i want to see a physical difference by the end of this pod yeah, this isn't this isn't very in, interesting stuff though i'm talking about how Who gives it, a it is honestly is it's it? for me is it it's all we, we just talk about yeah. our bodies most of the time all right, so yeah neither of us are particularly happy with us uh, so. I, I could probably train you I could, uh, you're 32 years old you could get ripped I could get ripped, yeah, I know. And David, how old are you? I'm, for, I'm 48. You're my age? Yeah. 74? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we were going we to sort of focus on our age difference in the pod, but we just thought that could be our angle. Hang on, I don't want to lose this opportunity to... So you, you drink a litre of water in oh, the yeah, morning? Yeah, so a litre of water in the morning, then I do uh, <coughs> two, four, six, 120 press-ups... You do 120... Right, OK, what type of press-up? So I do wide angle, low angle, uh, on, uh, with that grip. So there's one, and then I turn... Oh, the, so my God. I'm, on your fists? No, I've got the uh, the bars, so you get press-up bars. They're only, like, eight quid from the shop. They're cheap. Do you do the one, like, where your elbows are close to your body? Because yeah. I can't do any of those. And you keep your feet together, so the, just the hard... So if you keep your feet apart at the back, it's, it's easier to do a press-up. But if you keep your feet together... It's much harder. Because I was doing those occasionally, and I could do those, and then Petra Googled how to do a press-up, and she did that, and I couldn't do it. Well, it's different. it works different parts of your chest, that does. So if you do it there, oh, you've probably got a stronger... Phys- you've probably got stronger muscles on that side. But when you do there, you can feel it slightly more on the I've outside got, of it. I've got a personal trainer who's just started again with me, and he gets me to do press-ups, and my best is nine. <laughs> nine on Tuesday. Why are you not... Like- <laughs> I can Honestly, do 20 I like that. I know it's funny, oh. but I'm really... It's good, it's good, it's good, nine is good. No, I can do rubbish. 20 like that. I can do 20 like 20, that. yeah. So What's... God, I can't. That's not bad. That's good. So anyway, I do that, then I do... Uh, and then, God, I'm so needy. And then I'll, do, then I'll have oats, and then I'll have a... Um, you know, with some berries and stuff, and then I'll have a pro, uh, so spinach uh, with protein as a shake. Yeah. And then I'll go and work out, uh, go, then go to the gym. Every day? No, it's hard, especially when you're on tour, so, you know... But, but right, so you do 120 press-ups and go to the gym. Yeah. Uh, after so I was hoping you'd just say 120 press-ups, so I thought that's doable. Oh, but then what oh do you- and then I do the pull-up. Uh, I've got some kettlebells, so I do pull-up bars as well with the 20... The pr- and some abs, so a bit, a bit of ab workout. Uh, What's ab... What do you mean, ab workout? I've got an ab roller, you know, that ball you can do... You can kind of work the muscles. <laughs> but the best ab workout is plank. If you want yeah. To really, yeah, plank is the best. You can do like a minute on the front and then a minute on the side and then the other side. Um, a minute on the side. I admitted to my trainer at the end of Tuesday, I said, I'm going to be honest with you, I can't do it without you. <laughs> I, could, I could probably easily train you up. It's, it's pretty easy. You will want to do that on Zoom and do your editing. <laughs> well, you just come to the gym. I can't watch that. Cause then, and then I'll go to the gym and then I'll do 10 minutes of warm up and then I'll do a specific body part. So, like I said, I do chest today. Then I'll. 
do that, then I'll do interval training at the end. What's into? I don't know what any a lot of these things are. What's interval? Interval training? is like uh, fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. So you're burning fat, not muscle. Running. Yeah, on the treadmill. I'm gonna do that on the treadmill, and then you know. Right. Well, this is the thing that get, catches me out is when you're out and you're not prepared and you're hungry. Yeah. What do you do? What do you eat? Have you shrunk your stomach though? I need to tell me. Would I what? Shrink it. Have you shrunk your stomach to like you know? Because I, I can eat. I'm. I've just come back from holiday, so yeah. I'm. I'm hungry all the time because I eat like a pig on holiday. <laughs> you kind of get what? used to, um, and then I'll come home and have, and then I'll do a protein shake after that again, another protein shake. Yeah. And then I'll do uh, have a protein like a salad with tuna on it, with a, you know, some olive oil and stuff. And, and oh, then this is, see, you're not having any potatoes or bread. No, or, I avoid, or a Twix. Or no, trying to. No. Do you have a, do, you, do you have like a cheat day? Yeah, I mean, I do eat a lot of rubbish sometimes. But um, the thing about potatoes, bread is starch, and starch can, when it gets into your body, turns into sugar, which then turns into fat in the human system. I just had a toast. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's all right if you because you, you you see the thing is, Joe, you're a very good looking man. You don't need this stuff. Yeah. You don't, you don't really need to because you've got. Well, you were as a boy as well. Yeah, twenty years ago, yeah. you've always Lovely loved that little boy. Oh. Oh, well, exactly. No, I was. I was a pretty boy. <laughs> pretty boy, the second. <laughs> <laughs> how long? Right. If we hit your regime today, how long before we'd see results? A remarkable. Well, effect? if I was you, I, I would do a workout like this. Um, maybe three to four times a week. Different body parts, so you do chest today, then you do back, so you do opposites. And then I would um, have one cheat day a week. And then, so when you get cravings of hunger or sugar, yeah. replace the chocolates with fruit if you have to and stuff like that, and you can... But, Paul, what I want to know, which, uh, I don't want you to jump in, because this is important. When you're out and you're in your car, or you're traveling, whatever, and you're really hungry, you're like, fuck, I'm shit. Yeah. What do you do if you have to stop off at a petrol station? What will you eat? Uh, I've only got salted peanuts. Yeah. What are you doing? Get them. There's a yeah. There's limited options. It's yeah. eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. And then what I get a doing? massive packet of crisps. Ah. Do you? Yeah. That's good. But then there's leeway there, isn't there? Because when you keep yourself in shape for the other time, yeah. like, apart from the tour, then you can tend to just cheat a, a bit on the tour. <laughs> yeah. It, it's so boring on tour. And yeah. the food options in this country, like in America, you can get really healthy food everywhere. Yeah. They're really down with this kind of stuff, isn't it? And, but in this yeah. country, Gangsters is the healthiest option. I bought a big pack of wine gums last Saturday on the way to football. I was hungry and... Yeah. <laughs> Why I like how that? confessional this is. Well, you should maybe get that dried fruit instead, but it's still got a lot of sugar <coughs> in it. Yeah. Are they, are they going to have dried fruit? They didn't have dried fruit go? in the petrol station. They do. They've got them there now with nuts and... You get some nuts I'm and telling stuff. you, son. They did. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I just want to... I've said it before. I just want a nice body for a summer. Well, you're, you're, what, are you six foot six? Yeah. You're well, six, nearly. <laughs> six, nearly six. Six foot six. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But Can you, be, yeah. you know, you, 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 your life is in good state at the moment. You've got a model wife, children, with various women. So yeah. you don't really need big, to, big house, big, big bum, big house. Uh, I can look at this. That is a nice house. Now look at the state of my place. And look at yeah. right. It's very tidy. It's very spot that people have not always, short of covers. It's very. Um, it's very uh, Ted Bundy, isn't it, this place? It's, uh... <laughs> it's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't think I've seen it. I don't think we've speak, spoke to anyone in a cream chair, either. <laughs> <laughs> that is, <yeah. laughs> Have you taken that out of a Ferrari? <laughs> yeah. It's, just, it's even got the red. <laughs> Like a Ferrari oh, out of the front with a seat missing. But I like so what Joe's do. done. It's got the intellectual vibe with the books in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah don't actually zoom in, though. Pretending it's... They're just props. And you know when you go what to the... What are those books? Um, uh, John Steinbeck. Whoa! Uh, Frank, Frank McCall. 
Uh, Bit of a Stretch by Chris Aitken, um, David Sedaris, and then Roddy Doyle, David Quantec. You must be quite uh, pleased with that moment, Joe. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't believe my John Steinbeck, my one John Steinbeck. <laughs> is it of Mason Men? No, it's I, I have got that somewhere. This is Grapes of Wrath. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it any good? Good little read. I haven't read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking around for any books here. There's nothing here. Yeah. God, where are oh, you? Look, You're in your lounge. Shit. In my office. Oh, in your office. Look at that. Look at that one. Oh, that's... Oh, Harold Gusking. Stop How acting. To stop acting. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's Harold yeah. Gusking. He's a good friend of mine, Harold Gusking. Is he? He's a lot... <laughs> he seems like a nice guy. Is he good? You, you hang around with men in their 70s. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I knew you. You're only 30, <laughs> Joe, so... Um, 32. Ne- I say mid-30s. You said mid thirty. You're not thirty-two. I still can't believe this, David. It, this, yeah, I no, the guy, the we, we were in America, like Miami, fifty-five years ago, doing Last Comic <laughs> Standing, and he's still, still. Yeah. You, you got that performer's age that you're still you're thirty-two forever. Yeah, yeah. I um, yeah, because I feel that was when I was physically. At that was, that's what my nan used to say. Thirty-two is a uh, prime. Do you think God. I'm doing? We're doing a disservice, David, by telling people our age. So can we? Should we bleep that out then? Should we say? No, no, not at all. I mean, I'm what, sort of. You don't. What do you think like. you? What do you think you could do acting age, Paul? Um, What's the youngest you could play? Do you think? Forty-seven, probably. No, you got. No, I, think I you reckon like you could 40. do thirty-five. Mm. I think you could do thirty-five. I do. Do you like going for auditions? I don't know if you go for them, Joe, but David, do you do you don't go. No, I don't. You're go. beyond the point of. Like, no, 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 I don't. Oh. I, I, just don't like <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. So, do you do a lot of self tapes? I don't do anything. So, when they say, can you read for. You I'd know. say, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely don't do anything. I don't think you realise, Paul. This is what I do. <laughs> so can you do this for four hours because otherwise we just have to go to bed <laughs> auditions are horrific isn't it oh, yeah they're, they're like the most soul destroying yeah, you think you're, you're very close to work. I did I did one I did my second ever audition I haven't done loads I've probably I've probably done ten or something uh, was for an advert I can't believe I did it. It's for an ad- and I had to pretend- advert. Yeah, and I had to pretend I was walking a dog. Wow. So I walked, <laughs> I walked across walking a dog, and I, I swear to God, everyone in the room went bananas in, like, a good way. They were like, yes, yes, yes! And I was like, oh, right. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> they, they went, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Yes, you didn't yes. Get it. And you didn't get it. No, they were looking at they all looking at each other like this, like we found that guy like this. And I, I was bet like, you were. <laughs> I was cock of the hoop. Walking it faster. The dog. <laughs> yeah, he was jumping up at me. At this Kissing, point. licking yeah. your face and everything. Yeah, oh, get down. And then uh, they said, okay, do, do it again, do it again. And I and I was like, I walked back across. They went, they went, no, 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 like you did the first time. <laughs> and you couldn't remember. I didn't know what I'd done. <laughs> And, oh. and they got pro- they got progressively more and more annoyed at me, <laughs> and they were going, "No, no, no, no!" Oh, I've done loads, man. I, the, the most uncomfortable ones, probably. Um, I don't know if we can say that. I've done. Uh, uh, we might have to bleep this out, but I just went up for. Yeah. Uh, no, they're making a film out of it, and then, oh, and right. then, and then I, uh, I remember went for the audition, and the guy just looked at me at the end of it and stared at me. So I did this whole character. And he, Okay, you know that, and you just feel like shit when they do that. Oh fuck! And then, I, then I got a recall and met the director, and had to be this announcer and stuff, and and then I didn't hear anything. But just, <laughs> but then I remember I did Mary Mary Poppins Returns. I went up for as well. You're a proper and I met like, actor. Well, you're an actor. Well, I did um, Cruella with Emma Stone. I played a part in that. 
I did uh, did Devils with Patrick Dempsey. That was a two season drama film for like a year. That, that was ages, yeah. But the Mary Poppins Returns when I met Ward, I met uh, Disney for it, not uh, Walt Disney, but you know people from Disney. The theme park. And and at that point, I thought, you know, like. Um, <coughs> They, you know, all these actors like Daniel Day Lewis going in character. Oh. So I thought, I'm going to go in in character <laughs> to this meeting. So I went in the ca I went in character. <laughs> and it was Did this. You? Yeah. So, oh, hello. I'm, you know, th this kind of. It was a lawyer in the, you know, in the. When With it, a high voice. Yeah. Hello. I, I, <laughs> I'm the uh, lawyer and uh, it's really lovely to see you all. <laughs> uh, and then they said, uh, Are you. Are you in character right now? I <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I'm actually. Uh, why are you in character? And I thought this works for Day Lewis and <laughs> De Niro. They all they turn up in the character they're playing, and it works Do for they? them. Do they? Yeah, like Daniel Day Lewis stays in that character. Um, yeah, but at the audition. <laughs> yeah, I'm not on the bus there though. I don't think. No, no so I know some actors. They're in the character for the whole duration. Even I don't think evening. any of those actors get booked. I think they're. It's a really <laughs> bad decision. And and they, I did the audition and it went around and they said, OK, OK, can you go out there and read the next scene that we've given you? And it turns out my agent never gave me the next scene. So I didn't know the next scene. So then I'm coming in. <laughs> sight reading it. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh. <laughs> did your did character you get... mainly say, oh, hello? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did you get it? Didn't get it either. Have you seen the Andy Kaufman film thing where... Jim Carrey. Yeah, he's oh, it's horrible. Yeah. It's it's one of horrible. the worst things I've ever seen yeah. in my life. Unbearable, isn't it? I hated him for that. How come? <laughs> what a pranny. It but just that... makes everyone feel uncomfortable. Yeah. What, staying like in he character? Pretend, he pretends to be Andy Kaufman to his parents and sister and stuff. It's like, ugh. Yeah. You're staying he in. This years ago, this agent, and put, it's a really serious, traumatic scene, and I was trying to do, and I, I couldn't do it. It was really like, I don't know, some wife, I don't know, something had happened to his family, something really traumatic, and the, the writer was there, the cast director, and he said, okay, I don't believe you! I don't, what? he started poking it, I don't believe you, while I'm reading the scene, because he didn't... Well, what he was saying to you, <laughs> yeah. about your the writer yeah. was. I don't believe you, I don't <laughs> believe him! <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> and it was, I was like, who the fuck? Who is he talking to? I was going to knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> and she, I feel my character would knock you out. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, okay, let's try that again. But she was really uncomfortable. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> and he was like in my face, like really spitting at my face. I don't believe you. What, he was the writer, the director. Yeah. I think he was the writer and director, and he just kept on telling me he didn't believe me. That he didn't believe what I was saying. Didn't believe the performance was real. Nothing is worth that, is it? Uh, audition. I mean, he'd tell it better, but he has to. He had to masturbate in it, or you know, simulate masturbating, masturbation. And uh, so he did it, and they stopped. And the director, based, the director, basically said, "Okay, let's do it again, but let's rein it in a bit." <laughs> 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 He's wanking too much. <laughs> uh, who was that? <laughs> He's good at that stuff, though, isn't he? He's quite, what, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> now, now I'm going to get cancelled for saying that. You, know. you can't say these things anymore, can you? Hello, Chatter Biscuits and Chatter Biscuits with Nuts, uh, etc. If you're enjoying this podcast, you need to get on our Patreon. You will get early access to ad free episodes. There'll be videos and behind the scenes sneaky pics. It's basically a place where we all hang out together. And also you'll be given instant access to our Discord community, which is a friendly place where chatter biscuits share stuff and talk to one another. It's like a nice Twitter, basically. Uh, so just go to patreon.com forward slash chatterbix. Also, Patreon is also an app you can download onto your phone. Fall for the price of a coffee. Once a month, you pay a few qu quid, quid, and you become a VIP chatter biscuit. That's what you'd like. Sign up at patreon.com forward slash chatterbix. The link is in the description of this episode. Done.
Yeah, do you know what? There's over a thousand. We've got over a thousand, a over thousand patrons thousand at the moment. Patrons. Right. Patreon, give it to me. Patreon, I need it, girl. Patreon, give it to me. Patreon, I need it, girl. What, what venues you doing? Uh, well, this the, the, how I've done what, three at the Apollo. Um, Fucking hell! Uh, the, What's in, on this tour? On this tour, um, you did three nights at the Apollo. I, think I did about three, yeah, and then I've got another t- two at Hackney next week. What does that um, hold? What does ha- ha- Hackney? Uh, that's only hold? about one and a half. No, no, it's not. Apollo's three and a half. No, Apollo's as in, but it. <laughs> but on the last tour, I did I did five at the Apollo plus Wembley. Plus other dates around the country, so it was just under a hundred thousand seats on that tour. What the fuck? You must be raking it in. Well, no, man. Joe jo and myself have got the same agent, so um, you know, I'm still got this. My you know, wife is your agent. Your wife's my agent. Yeah. <laughs> Can get that quite. No wonder she's driving around in a nice brand new Honda. <laughs> Paul, what does it feel like knowing there are fifteen hundred people who've paid? to see you and you're about to walk on and you're not in the mood <laughs> no no what's it feel like to know that they're really up for you and they've come to see you? it's an uh, incredible feeling you never really quite settle into it yeah right? especially when you're not like the guy off the tv or um you're like minimal tv appearances because uh, but that's well, a great thing isn't it yeah it's... have you have has it happened then like um, What's, is it from touring? Go back. Well, and yeah, it's just going back up and down the country for years, just doing rooms and picking up uh, uh, an organic. For it's like Henning. Henning's done that, hasn't he? Henning Wen's done that. Um, yeah. Benny Hill did that. Benny Hill did it. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Forsyth did it. Remember nights at the Palladium in London, right? They used to yeah. Pick, that was an actual. It wasn't a TV show. They'd pick up a following, bef- and then they'd get offered a TV show. Now it's kind of like. All right, this goes a brand new comic. They've got five minutes. Let's put them on TV and then let's tour him. And then they've got to write another 55 minutes. So it's a bit weird. It's gone the other way around, isn't it? So people would. So have you done, I think of you having done quite a bit of telly, but have you not? No, I've not really. I hosted Stand Up for the Week years ago. Done, done live with the Apollo twice, 2012, 2015. And that was just upset. I never hosted it. Are you really saying you've done all this by doing tours, just picking up yeah. people each year? Yeah, just touring, yeah. Because Henning's definitely, and like I said, Benny Hill. Benny Hill's, but he, I don't know if he's touring at the moment. I think he's the No. Tour. But you're using Benny Hill as the model. As the, he's the, yeah. The, he's the guy. I looked at his flat online about a month ago to see where he died. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Any good? It was uh, sort of underwhelming. How long did you spend doing that? God, it was about six in the morning. I looked at Kenneth Williams. <laughs> I looked at Benny Hills. So you'd been up for four hours. So you were. Oh, well, that's when I texted you and said, there's a show in this. <laughs> what, Benny Hills flat? Just going round dead people's houses. I just thought, oh, this would be fucking great. <laughs> well, I went, I looked at a house, a few, what I told David, um, and it was uh, an actor in Pink Panther's house just down the road. Peter Sellers. And it had loads of pictures. He'd passed away, unfortunately. But it had loads of pictures from, like, what stuff. What's his name? Been, like, oh, was he in 40 him. Towers as a chef? Yes, he was a chef in 40 Towers as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but uh, he had quite a big role in the Pink Panther's films. But yes, that was nuts. But was Paul, I, I really want to know, what is it like when you walk on, you've got 1,500 people. Hmm. Well, what's the biggest room, though? What, what's the biggest? The biggest I've done like? on a solo tour. I've done uh, the O2 four times, but um, that was for the gala, you know, Channel 4 thing. But the, awesome. The one I've done personally, the, my solo show to do like an hour and a half, was at uh, the uh, Wembley Arena. And how big? I, shit, I walked past, 
I bought past, fuck, maybe about two years ago yeah. or a year ago. Do you, were you doing it about a year ago? And I think I walked past it the day you were doing it that night because it's to the just to the right of the Wembley Stadium, Stadium, isn't it? Yeah. And your fucking name was up there, and I remember just standing there looking at it for ages. You're joking? Going, that's fucking bananas. I wasn't playing it during lockdown, no. Or maybe it's before, but I've walked past was... when you've been really. So yeah. why didn't you come in and watch the show then and say, Paul, come to the suit? Because I was playing five aside. Oh, uh, in Wembley. Yeah. <laughs> <I didn't> want... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I saw the queue at Wembley Arena, that's when I cried. <laughs> at Wembley Arena? Yeah, when he walked on stage, I saw his big hair through the <laughs> like, silhouette, I started crying. They're good, aren't that's they, your still? Early 40s for you. Oh, I watched him last night on Instagram Live. <laughs> but they did an IG Live, did they? Yeah, someone was filming him live on Instagram uh, last night, I was watching it. But how, how many people, how, how much does, yeah, how many what's, people what's the capacity of Wembley Arena? That's 10,000, that one. Shit! Right, no disrespect, Paul. How are you getting all these fucking people there? <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, fucking loads. I, I, I don't know. It's just, um, it's weird. It's like, and then last night I did the solo theatre just to, because I'm I've rewritten the show. I've took, took six months out, rewrote the show. And, um, I've just it, clocked your watch as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really, how much is that worth? Uh, is he, this is Jesse David. Very Moses. nice. Too. Joe, Joe wouldn't have noticed that. <laughs> Why wouldn't I notice that? I saw something shining. Yeah, but you just think it's a normal watch. Why is it? What's it what do you mean? It's not a normal watch. Why? That's is an it expensive? underwater one, sir. Because that, does that tell the time in different countries? <laughs> yeah, that's actually a day. That's a GMT master. <laughs> uh, I, honestly, is, the fact you're playing ten thousand. How many comics are doing that? The thing about doing a one-off night at Wembley is there's a lot of overheads and a lot of staff. Those, is there? Yeah, so you you make money when you do a run at an arena, not when you do a oh. one-off. So the overheads are so high that it's kind of, it's more of a statement to the industry that you've done Wembley. So, so do you what, do you have to pay for the, the security staff and all that? Oh yeah, it all comes out of the, yeah. Does it? You do a split and then, yeah, there's lots of costs and there's a lot of staff there. So oh. there's a lot of people working in the ring arena. That's a shame. Well, all you do is still Peter... you're still doing all right. <laughs> no, still I mean... getting a couple of Birkins out of it. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> I, I don't do it. Peter K gets a cut of the uh, car park. I heard. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah, yeah. You get... but that's a bit of a that's <laughs> a money. Cut of the car park. Fuck do you me. remember that? Do you remember... Oh, I can't tell this. But you remember that? So when's your next? When's your next gig? Uh, uh, I'm, ba I'm back at Hackney. Um, what venue at Hack Hackney Empire? Back at the Empire, yeah. I don't think there are many venues in Hackney, are there? Apart from the Empire. I did that my last special there for Amazon. Hackney. Um, I'm going to read out all your dates because it's professional. Would you, when, you, when you've got, are you now kind of cool where you go, you don't have to think about it on the way there? Or you in the, When you wake up and you've got... A but I think David Paul is playing... The Hackney Empire on the yeah. 19th of October and the 20th of October. Wolverhampton on the 25th. Blackburn on the 28th. Is this good, this bit? That's great voice. Uh, yeah. 1st of November, Lincoln. Is that the engine shed? Yeah. I did that. Too big for me, that was. Was uh, it? Was it? That room goes on forever. How many seats? <laughs> uh, what, how, much, how many seats in there? I think it's like 700 or something. Fucking hell. Glasgow Pavilion. Yeah, right, you've, Joe, you've got to say if you've done it or not. Yes no. or no. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, Glasgow Pavilion Theatre on 2nd of November. Nope. Dudley Town Hall, 3rd of November. Might have done. Walsall Arts and Arena and nope. Arts Centre on the 4th and 5th of November. Coventry Warwickshire Arts Centre. Oh, no. I thought he was going to say the one in... Leicester in De Montfort Hall on the 8th yes. of November. Have you? Were you supporting yep. someone? Yep. Jenny Eclair, that went very, very badly. <laughs> <laughs> Good Jenny room, was it? so lovely about What's me it? ruining the first half of it. Nice room, isn't hey. it? Pardon? Nice room, isn't it? The Y Theatre. No, the De Montford Hall. De Montford. Oh, oh, maybe I haven't. Maybe oh, I haven't. Fine. Sorry. Oxford Playhouse, that's a big year. Yes, I have. November. That's, a, that's a big one. 
Russell Howard. Oh, I did these with Russell Howard, I think. Oh, right. Manchester Apollo on the 17th of November. No, and rightly so. That's the second. I've already done one date there already on the last leg. Do you know what we do, Paul, on this podcast? <laughs> we look at people's tours. We won't do it with you. We work out the seats and the ticket prices. And we divide by three and see how much they're making every night. <laughs> or there's a quicker way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, get there's over a lot of comics out. out there doing very well indeed. <laughs> I love if that one of those doors open, a load of watches just face <laughs> <laughs> that covered you. <laughs> uh, Stuart Lee took the mick out of that as well. That covered. <laughs> Did he? When I had him on my podcast and the podcast, he um, he was wondering why the room was like this. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Stuart why he passes it off as a character. We had that discussion. Oh, yeah. The character Stuart Lee. Yeah. He spoke about that on the podcast because he says it's not him, it's the character. Yeah. So I was trying to work out which is the character and which one is Stuart Lee. Yeah. <laughs> Get to the point, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mate. What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> you might have noticed, but this is a pretty fast-paced pod. <laughs> <laughs> need to be on it at all times. <laughs> uh, I must admit, I am sort of fascinated by that frame, the cupboards, the door, the edge of the I know. Sofa. It seems like an, there's an edge of a few things. Yeah, it's very... Um, you can't walk us around your house, could you, Paul? Well, it's, uh, this is a 27-inch iMac. Yeah, that's fine. So Carry I've, that. <laughs> it's the, the extension cord isn't long enough. It's just... <laughs> When you get, you unplug as soon as it gets to the door. Twenty-seven oh, inch by iMac. Fucking hell! <laughs> it's old. This is a twenty fourteen model, and they haven't released right. a new one since in twenty seven inch. Honestly, oh, if I was cost. doing all your top, be buying iMacs in the front <laughs> seat. I really would. You're doing better than me, David. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> not. <laughs> We'll have to look at company's house. I'm going to look at your company house records. Fucking hell, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, me me and you do look like we are doing better than Paul room-wise. <laughs> yeah, life-wise as well. <laughs> it annoys me. <laughs> yeah. Even Only because we've got a cupboard with stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> you just got blank walls. Yeah, yeah, Put a fucking picture up, you look like you're loaded. Yeah, I mean, look, my lifestyle, this represents my lifestyle, isn't it? This room. Do you, do, you have, do you have a thing where you just, at any moment, you can just drop everything and, like, go to a new country? Is that your, you yeah, know, I'm just a, a bag of... In exile. Yeah, well, like, you can just move on, like the littlest hobo. I might well do I that. I definitely feel like a Ted Bundy vibe here. <laughs> Working out, nice and clean carpet. Yeah. Is there a comedian that's gone missing who potentially has stood stuffed in one of those cupboards? Well, that was weird. David said that because I was watching the Jeffrey Dahmer thing. Oh, I've watched it. Hoovered it up. Yeah, it's horrible. He lives on well, his he own. He managed five minutes, but he lives on his own. He works out. He's got no mates. He's got no life. Oh, so that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that. My, he's got my lifestyle but without. Doesn't have your watches though. Is no, it Jeffrey Dahmer the one, the guy that escapes, and there's a cop there, and Jeffrey Dahmer goes, "Oh, we're, we're in a relationship. Yeah. We just have that, and yeah, they yeah, bring yeah. you back into the yeah, yeah, the fourteen-year-old yeah. Filipino boy, <coughs> and then and then the, there was a woman, the neighbour, who was black, and said, "These." He's well, that's child. sort of the angle of the. But this is it's the really police were racist, you know. Yeah, that's the sort of angle of it. How how his he got away with it because mm. of the prejudice. He lived in a black right. area, and then the police were like, "Oh yeah, you so, can't be." So lying. it's really good. It's a really good drama. I don't know. We were like, "Why are we watching this?" I hoovered it up on holiday in Mallorca. <laughs> <Didn't you? laughs> Lovely, <laughs> yeah. lovely stuff. We'd go for a nice meal, and then we'd watch an episode of Dharma together. I've been watching his interviews on uh, on YouTube, and, that, and those were the days when they interview serial killers, and they become, Fucking and then they were, you know, I think they the media stayed away from that because then everyone wanted to become a famous serial killer, right? Uh, but the way they just talked to him, like he's just um, uh, he's just sitting there like we're talking now, no cuffs, no, and this guy, multiple murders, and they were talking to him like a normal person. Hey, why did you do this? And, <laughs> but if it was that a, like, sounds like your other character. Sure, yeah. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> Why is an accountant interviewing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it was a black serial killer, he would have had chains on his feet and, you know, everything. But they just spoke to him and he wasn't cuffed. He could have just jumped out and bit them in the face and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so what did he do? Murder, cut up, eat. Well, yeah. When, it, when he was a child, his dad would get roadkill and he'd uh, dissect it and take his heart out in the testing. So, and that, apparently, his childhood trauma had resulted in his adult behaviour. This is what they and, can't... and some of it's to do with that, the trauma's to do with kind of his parents' relationship to him and stuff. It's very good. Real holiday stuff. <laughs> I was told at any one point um, there's two serial killers on the loose in the UK. Fucking hell. Night, night, everyone. Night, night. And there's three of us on this podcast. <laughs> And one of us has a cupboard they won't open. <laughs> and and yeah. clean, clean carpets <laughs> that have just been washed. You wash your carpets? No, it's just probably oh. wash your <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to end the pod with you showing us how you wash your carpets. <laughs> Scrubbing. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Well, thank you, Paul. Because well, I'm bursting now because of all that water. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's the problem is when quite a piss to come out yeah put water um, and then a smoothie on top of it plus what are you having for lunch uh, I'm probably going to do a coffee with creatine now fuck what? you are so onto it oh no a bulletproof <laughs> coffee I'm going to make a bulletproof coffee which is what? so I have oat milk would you say ditch the oat milk no oat, oat milk is good it's be, uh, almond milk's got a lot of fat in it but read the fact but oat, oat milk's good get the one without the sugar in it don't get the you try and get the unsweetened, and then I'll do a, a bulletproof coffee, which is um, what's that? It's just coffee. I, I grind the beans, I put it on that Italian thing, and put it on the hob, and then make pure coffee with two tablespoons. But I don't. I normally do one tablespoon of of full fat butter and uh, MCT oil, which is a coconut oil extract. And then I mix. You put butter in your coffee. Yeah, well, this yeah. is a bullet, bulletproof coffee, so this, it's, it's got a lot of fat content, which straves off the hunger for longer, but gives you a lot more of an energy kick. So it's pretty long. In America, this is a big drink, but they don't do yeah. it. Here. You can't get it. So it's an expensive MCT. It's like a called bulletproof coffee. But then I also start chuck a creatine, a, a, a scoop of creatine in there, which gives you. How did you learn all this? Just made it up, mate. <laughs> you made it up. So this is fucking bollocks. That's We're going to die if we do this. <laughs> <laughs> I just made this all up but for literally yeah. all my workout stuff. It's really convincing. And I passed it off as... I, I might become... You know, Kevin Hart's done all this, isn't he? He's done become this fitness kind of... He, he's literally in everything, isn't he, Kevin Hart? He's got like... What do you like on the beach? I don't really go to the beach. Um... Where there's, there's not really an opportunity in England to go to a beach much. Right. Is there? I just, I was at a beach which was full of um, German people and they, they go full nude. Oh, yeah. It's horrendous. Carrots and onions out and everything, isn't it? Fuck it. Really never got used to it. Did you get any... But you home? must feel good on the beach, though, when you... Me? Around. Well... He doesn't go to the park... Where, where, where's the last time you had your top off in public? Oh, probably on my Instagram stories. <laughs> Fucking right, I'm going to this. <laughs> I, <laughs> I haven't done it for, for a while, but sometimes I'll just do a... Uh, you know they say promote a tour, so then sometimes yeah. I'll promote the tour topless, because yeah. that's the way you get views is by have you wearing had any? Bikini. Have you ever had any ladies send stuff? Naughty, <laughs> naughty messages. <laughs> Obviously, you're going to bleep this out, but yeah. Oh, let's, am let's I? Have... I wasn't going to. Oh, well, let's have a chat about this then. Oh, I had one once. Did you? <laughs> yeah. What is... I haven't. Have I, should I tell you this? Should I say this? I shouldn't say this, should I? Yeah. You've got no tops off on your Instagram. What a waste of time. No, it's on my page, actually. If you go further down, there's some topless pictures. Okay. So, you go... Go... oh, there's one on the... Yes, there... Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> It's wow! Paid off, is it, Joe? Wow! Well, well, I get it. I hundred percent get why you take your fucking top off. <laughs> wow! Okay. I'm going to go in now. Wow. Fucking hell! I was just about to end the interview. Now I'm going through. His... Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! 
They're really small, so you can't really zoom in. What are his pecs? No, the picture. The pecs aren't. That's impeccable. I don't know what picture you're looking at, though. There's one on the beach. You're like, man from Del Monte. Oh, yeah, open. that's a Dubai one, yeah. And then you've got your foot up. Fuck me. Where, is there more? There's, you've got God, further down, you've got more of a topless one I did in the in the living room in lockdown. But then you've got... So comfortable with your top. Oh, I can't, I've been through that. I'm looking at loads of the photos I haven't found. Oh. Uh, on Instagram. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah. So you've got to go quite far. I want more. Not an ounce of more. fat on him. No. That's a bulletproof coffee there. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to find it. Oh, uh, well. To Oh my god! You that found... one. The one the angle from the groin upwards. Yeah, you found that one. <laughs> you found that one. Yeah, I don't know what I was going on there. Who took that? I took it. Oh. Good lord. I took it. <sighs> Sorry. I, oh, well. feel like... I could make you both look like that. <laughs> With no effort? Yeah, it wouldn't take much. Oh, I'm looking at it. <laughs> I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> I might recreate that and do a bef like a before and after. Do it, and then I'll post it on my one and, and have you. Oh, I'm like, thinking about my me. wife. If I walked in like that, <laughs> she'd be all over me. Like a... <laughs> she'd probably question who you were for a while. So why? Why is David an Indian guy with a beard? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Paul Chowdhury standing here instead of David Earl? <laughs> uh, I've sent Paul Chowdhury over because I will never have this body. <laughs> Why am I scrolling down looking for more pictures? He's <laughs> <laughs> getting lost in his own. <laughs> I literally stopped listening. I go, there must be more. There must be more. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, fair play to you, Paul. Yeah, thanks, Paul. I'm trying, that mate. Was, I'm uh, trying. What a way to end. Yeah, hopefully I, I want to come down to your show soon, Joe and um, David. I'll... What a show? Your tour show. When did your tour show start? Not doing it. <laughs> oh, you're not doing it all? <laughs> nah. Why not? Well, well we might do, but... Can't say When's the next gig? Cool. Well, you we gigged, don't... don't you, Joe? Oh, I'm doing one a month. Is that it now? Yeah. You used to gig all the time it's back in. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sorry, so Paul. cagey <laughs> Sorry <laughs> Paul I sh should do more You're one gig a month now Yeah You were gigging all the time Back in the day 20 years ago When we started Yeah When I was 12 yeah, I did yeah. you <laughs> And I actually I, I think I gigged with you recently. Well it was a few months ago now At the Top Secret Didn't we We ended up No that was years ago And that was the last time I saw you gig Yeah And I was down there and you No were... I think the last gig We did dig together Was a charity gig At Shepherd's Bush Empire. Empire, yeah, and uh, Russell Kane was on. Can't remember. Who else. He woke me up last night. I was listening to him on a podcast. He woke me up at four. He was quite. What? I quite enjoyed this little chat he was having. Um, which one was he on? The CEO podcast. Oh, is he on there? Is he? Oh, uh, Stephen Bartlett one. Yeah, you love that podcast, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I do actually. I do. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of our podcast, Paul? <laughs> I think this is one of the best podcasts in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Not listened to any, have you? I, I, I can't. I've, I've got it on. I literally. Li What's it called? Top of your head, favourite app. <laughs> <laughs> What's, the pod What's, it, What's the podcast called? What? It's called Chatterbix. Oh, Chatter oh, like Chatterbix you. is one of my favourite podcasts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is your favourite app if you had to pick one? Hmm. Of of Chatterbix, um, it's probably one of Chatterbix. Yeah. yeah, it's probably one you interviewed the uh, guy, the, the, the Stephen Bartlett one. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't interviewed him. <laughs> oh, you're thinking of Steve Davis? Steve Davis one was good. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the ex snooker player Steve Davis. But generally, Paul, give it a go. Give it a try. Oh no, I'm gonna. You know what? The amount of times people have said, "Why are you not doing Chatterbox podcast?" <laughs> <laughs> You've done everyone. Why have you not done? Chat? How many other podcasts are you doing today, Paul? Um, yeah, that will annoy me if you pop up in loads of fucking podcasts. You will. And then I'm doing Joe yeah. Rogan after this. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> do you know what? That would seriously piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just be different and only do this? I am. I'm not going to do others now. It's like when I had Doug Stanhope on my podcast. I thought yeah. I was, he was the only podcast that did in the UK. I did it by, and then when he got here, it was like, oh, what podcasts are there to do? 
I was really upset about that. I was thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. had that. We thought it was special. Did you have him on as uh, well? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he was quite open. He said he was doing about seven oh, for, that day. For fuck's yeah. sake. Um, yeah, th- I'm not going to do any more. Po- I think I'm very exclusive. No, this is enough. It's like you won't see Paul Chowder on many podcasts because no. Right. You'll see him at Wembley. Please get all your followers to come over to us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do, do you, do, yeah, just oh, stick a load, maybe go a bit mad on social media. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm plugging the shit out of this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what's it called again? Chatterbox. Chatterbox. <laughs> Chatter. Box. Remember the last bit. Pause. Bix? Yeah, yeah. Chatterbox. <laughs> oh, Bix. Oh, Bix is good if you want to have oats in the morning. Get the oat Bix. Really? Uh, oh, it's like Weetabix, but... Oh. What do you have a, as a cheat? Oh, uh, loads of fruit with... Um, That's your cheat? Yeah, loads of fruit. What about... Right, no, but I mean a proper... Uh, oh, chocolates, cakes, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But if yeah. you have to... Oh, so you crisps. can eat cake and have a good body, is what yeah, you're saying? crisps as well, but... You yeah, so you can eat all that and yeah. still have a Instagram body. It just... Look, I don't want to help you out too much, but steroids is normally... Uh, quite helpful yeah do a lot for me anabolic steroids uh, if you want to look like this it, is that what they call natty yeah yeah I saw a video about that a guy going around a gym saying are you natty i don't know what he meant is, is that, that natural or with oh steroids? it must be that must be natty it must be natural are you yeah. natty that we said to say, him we just go around asking these bodybuilders if they were natty you natty, and they'd go. What do you think? And I, don't, I didn't know. Maybe you're saying naughty with an accent. What were you watching, Joe? I go down a YouTube. I'll start with like a Roy Keane, usually a Roy Keane interview, <laughs> and then you scroll. Down. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're looking at naked men. No, you're going down. You're going down like that, and then you've got a bloke. I'm slightly obsessed with this guy. Who goes up to people in New York and says, "How much do you pay for rent?" And then they look around at their flat. So I'll go down that rabbit hole. And then it's then there's a guy who just I've only seen it twice. He goes up to bodybuilders and go, "Are you natty?" <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, <laughs> uh, David, Joe, Mr. David to end this, isn't it? Yeah, Joe, yeah it's, it's, we've had a real good conclusion this one. <laughs> I think we've tied all the pieces together. Yeah, perfect yeah. dovetailing of everything. Oh, fuck. I can't, I can't wait to see you guys again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, come on again if you want. Oh, I'd love you to. Know. We'll Weekly? Do Why don't we do a live one at Wembley? Oh, fucking hell, yeah. <laughs> That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Why don't you do first oh. half stand up, second half Chatterbix? <laughs> Why don't we just do a live one? <laughs> yeah. That'd be amazing. I'll, I'll plug it. And... Oh, they'd fucking love it. They'd find it a bit quirky. <laughs> yeah, it would be wicked, man. Let's do a. Or we just yeah. do it, we'll do it, you know, like a couple hundred seaters. Stuff. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna turn this Zoom off and f- forget about us, Paul. No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually just about to call the agent promoter and say we're doing a live chatterbox. Yeah, <laughs> ch- chatterbox. <laughs> I need three cream chairs <laughs> and an empty Can room. I get these cupboards taken <laughs> to Wembley? If we get this yeah. set in Wembley, <laughs> oh. I'd love it if you pull back and you're on the stage of Wembley Arena. <laughs> <a set. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> there's 10,000 people who've been quiet for the whole time Joe yeah. and David are brilliant <laughs> <laughs> are we <laughs> well fucking say it again <laughs> uh, cheers Paul uh, Thanks, cheers Paul. Paul lovely to meet you you too mate nice to see you mate uh, take, take care, care. Bye. bye bye, bye. <laughs>